Hi, welcome back to the Cordless Vacuum Guide. And in this review, we'll be looking at the Ultanic T10 robot vacuum with an auto empty base station. Auto empty robot vacuums have grown in popularity ever since Roomba launched the i7, as these products offer hands free convenience of not having to empty the dustbin manually. However, most bagged options with smart navigation will be costly. The T10 is one of the least expensive alternatives, and with a sizable 4.3 liter bag, it's one of the biggest available right now and nearly doubles that of other brands, so users don't have to replace it as often. How good is this robot? I've spent the past few days testing it, putting it through my usual series of tests to check cleaning performance, navigation, how the auto empty system works, and much more. Full disclosure, Ultenic sent me this robot for free to test, but as you'll see in all my reviews, I base my findings on test results to be as objective as possible, and I'll disclose both good and bad in this review, so let's get into it. Ultenic is a new player in this industry and they specialize in manufacturing smart home appliances such as humidifiers, stick vacuums, and robot vacuums. The T10 is their latest robot vacuum after the D5, equipped with lighter and slam, so it has smart navigation, able to traverse around tight spaces with efficiency. Its main selling point is the auto empty station with the extra large 4.3 liter dust bag. Ultanic throws in two extra bags in the package for good measure. Depending on how big your home is and usage frequency, it should last for up to 60 days. But there's no need to babysit since it has a sensor that notifies users if the bag is full through an indicator light on the base station. The beauty of this design is the bag seals itself when you pull it out, so there's no exposure to allergens, and replacement bags aren't expensive when you consider the high capacity. However, Ultanic recommends laying the base station on a non-carpeted surface due to the possible alignment issues when placed on carpet. The dock's inlet and robot's outlet port placements necessitate this as any misalignment may disrupt its functionality. The T10 design is standard with a round frame. Underneath, it has a single side brush and a combo brush flanked by two rubber wheels. The dustbin loads from the back, and unlike other robot and mop hybrids with a separate water tank, the T10 has it integrated with a dustbin. With the outlet port facing the charging dock, users will have to move the robot away from it to attach the mopping pad or hybrid container after filling it with water. Not a deal breaker, but an added step should you choose to mop floors. Ultanic includes a remote out of the box, but it only provides access to basic functions. You'll have to download the app to unlock all the advanced features. Like most robots with LiDAR, the T10 navigates in straight lines. As a result, it's quite efficient even in tight zones. By default, it only goes around once, but users can increase it up to two times through the area manager. Please note that two pass runs are only possible through this tab, and you'll have to draw these areas first on the map. Another reason to use the area manager is it unlocks the crisscross pattern, which isn't available otherwise. Selective room cleaning is also available through the room or area tab. One difference between the two app options is the room tab automatically cleans the whole zone you select on the map, while the area tab requires you to draw cleaning zones first. But one advantage is users can adjust the number of passes between 1 and 2. And since these areas are saved, there's no need to redraw them. It also did well not bumping into obstacles hard only nudging the alcohol bottle a few times during this test, but avoided it completely on the return pass. Runtime is above average at up to 280 minutes, but that's at the lowest setting, which isn't enough for cleaning heavier debris. Using a higher setting will cut down the runtime figures, but for smart robot vacuums with auto empty base stations, it shouldn't be a concern because these products have recharge and resume. I measured airflow using an anemometer, and the T10 was decent with up to 14.52 CFM in a max setting, but it's slightly below average compared to other robot vacuums at its price range. Cleaning performance is above average on hard floors, where it picked up a high percentage. It excels in picking up light debris, but struggles some with heavy stuff like sand. Passes were clean on this surface, and for daily cleaning tasks on dust and random hair strands, it should do well. However, it didn't do as well on carpet, where it picked up a lower percentage overall. It did well with certain debris types like quinoa, but not so well with stuff like coffee grounds. In deep cleaning tests, it only picked up an average of 49.55%, one of the lowest scores so far. Hair up test results on 5 and 7 inch strands also weren't good. Most of it wrapped on the brush for both tests. Fortunately, removing it won't be difficult with a detachable end cap. This vacuum doubles as a mop with a water tank integrated into the dustbin. One test I like to do with these robot mop hybrids is on dried red wine stains. While the robot cleaned the stains, I notice it's stalling more than a few times during the mopping cycle. It's not a one-off since it also stalled somewhat even without the stains and a dry pad. 
while it can mop floors, I wouldn't recommend using it for cleaning messes like these, but only for light duty mopping. Noise levels aren't too high, ranging between 62.6 and 69.5 decibels based on the sound meter. However, the noise from the second vacuum on the base station will be louder. The T10 is compatible with the Ultanic app, which you can download by scanning this QR code on the manual or this sheet covering the robot. Another option is typing Ultanic wherever you download your apps from. I won't go through the entire feature list, but highlight the ones I like and don't like. One of my favorites is how it combines virtual walls and no-go zones. So instead of drawing lines or rectangles separately, users can draw more complex shapes on the map to block off limit areas. You can add up to 10 corners and arrange them into complex shapes. You can add up to 10 of these zones on the map. Another bonus is the option to name these virtual boundaries for reference. Users have several options for deploying the robot right here. AutoClean tells the robot to vacuum the entire map level. PowerMap engages the mopping only function. RoomClean lets users select an area on the map they want cleaned. AerialClean has similar functionality, but you'll have to draw these areas first. I like this feature as it provides an option to save specific zones on the map that need more attention than usual. The option to increase the number of runs to 2 is another plus as it provides more thoroughness. You can save up to 10 areas on the map. Unfortunately, there's no option to save multiple maps, which is its biggest downside. But Ultenic can add this feature in future updates, since this is an app feature. Room and area cleaning is integrated with the scheduling feature, enhancing its usability benefits. Spot Clean lets users pinpoint an area they want to be vacuumed, but it doesn't have the option to resize the box. Once the robot is done mapping out the area, it automatically divides each region based on internal calculations. Since these divisions aren't always accurate in my home, I'd have to merge certain areas, but the process is easy. Users can select the auto empty frequency with these options, but I'd stick with the default setting, which is after every run. It also has a shortcut to the empty bin option on the main interface if the need arises. To conclude this review, the Ultanic T10 is an excellent option for folks looking for a reasonably priced auto empty smart robot vacuum with a large capacity bag. The 4.3 liter volume is huge and will last for up to 2 months before you have to replace it. Its biggest benefit being a bag system is keeping allergen exposure to a minimum. However, I'd only recommend this on hard floors since the base station should be placed on a solid surface to prevent any alignment issues due to the port's location on the dock and robot. Also, it didn't do as well on carpet cleaning tests, both surface and embedded, so I wouldn't recommend this except perhaps on low pile carpet or rugs. Let me know what you think about the Ultanic T10 in the comment section below. If this video has been helpful to you, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified for future reviews like this. And I have a lot lined up. Links are in the description for more information. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.